we live in a time where we have access to so much information. We can Google things, we can search things on YouTube and find out tutorials about everything and anything. We can find tutorials about how to solve tech problems. We can find tutorials about doing makeup. We can find tutorials about how to use Excel and all of these other things that, you know, we struggle with. We find answers in those platforms, social media. There's so much advice that is going around. We search for all kind of information to the point that even before we go to the doctor, we search the internet and look at our symptoms and try to find out what the problem might be. And sometimes we do get the answers that help and sometimes we don't. So we get used to this thing of searching the internet for information because, well, it's that's what we do. But there's information that we cannot search on the internet. The Bible in the book of Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, God says, call to me and I will answer you. I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. So allow me to put it like this. He says, call to me and I will answer you. I will tell you great and ungoogleable things. I'm saying this because this, this kind of information, this kind of wisdom and insight and understanding that can only be acquired by listening to the voice of God. So when he says, call to me, what does he mean? When he says, call to me, he is calling us to a place of prayer. He says, pray to me and I will answer you. And he's making a promise that when you call unto him, he will answer you and he will tell you great and ungoogleable things. You cannot Google what your purpose in life is. You cannot Google your identity. Who are you in Christ? You cannot Google your destiny. And when we come to God, when we come to this place of prayer, we get to know all this kind of information that answers life's biggest questions. Call to me. And I will answer you and I will tell you great and ungoogleable things. And he's making this promise that when you call unto him, he will answer you. And we know from the Bible that God is not a man that he should lie. When he makes his promise, he is able to fulfill it. All that is required of us is to pray. And he will answer us. And sometimes the answers are not what we expect. Sometimes the answers may not be what we desire. But the truth of the matter is that he will answer us. And he will tell us great and unsearchable things. He will give us visions for the future. He will tell us what is to come. He will tell us secrets that even our parents, our elders, the most knowledgeable people in our communities cannot give to us. He will give us answers to life's most difficult question. The only thing we have to do is to pray. And this is the most important thing about prayer. When we spend time in prayer and build a sense of intimacy with the Holy Spirit, we learn to understand his voice. We learn to distinguish his voice from all the other voices that are speaking to us. And when we know his voice, that is when we are able to recognize it when he speaks to us, when he reveals to us great and ungoogleable things. So this is very much important. Let us spend time in prayer. And that is the encouragement I want to give to you today, that spend time in prayer and you will get answers for your life's difficult questions, great and ungoogleable things. When we spend time in prayer, we learn to distinguish his voice from the voices of our past traumas. We learn to distinguish his voice from the voices of our past failures, from the voices of our insecurities, from the voices, the discouraging voices of our enemies, the people who hate us, and also the discouraging and the condemning voice of the devil. We're able to distinguish the voice of God by spending time in prayer. And when we are able to distinguish it from all the other voices, when we're able to recognize it, we are able to grasp the great and ungoogleable things that he has promised us. He says, call 
to me and I will answer you. I will tell you great and ungooglable things.